Yeah, that is the importance of what we are doing today. All of us have different, different what? Opinions. Now let me show you something. If there is a fourth, if there is a fourth container which is D, and that one also has two bar in a D. What which one is sweeter? This and this. The same. Is it not? But this two grams in 50 mil. This also two grams in 50 mil. That means they're going to be the same. Alright? What if I now come to this one that is that is a that is five grams in 100 mil? If I divide it into two, is it not possible? So I'm going to have 50 mil here and 50 mil. Is it not? This 50 mil here, how many nutrition will be there? 2.5. And this one what? 2.5. Have one dedicated container. They use it for their own what? Measurement. There are some baba in the village. They are doctors. But they don't even measure their own people. But some more air in a private. It's the same. The one here and the one in that. Is it not the same? Because the industry that produces it, they are going to make sure everything is standardized. One should not be bigger than the other. So now, the first one we're going to do today, percentage solution is that one that is going to dissolve a particular amount which I'm going to call X hmm? X gram the unit we use is what? gram we don't use milligram we don't use kilogram 100 mil that gives you what? X percent weight in have you seen this thing before? Yes. percent weight in gram, have you seen this before? yes good so when you dissolve X grams eh, in 100 mil inside here, 5 grams, do, you, do we all know how to weigh? No. Yes. Alright, let me explain it to you. Because uh, it's not part of what we are going to do today. Now, see this. Look at this. This is a weighing balance. You know what they call weighing balance? Yes. So this is a weighing balance here. Once I get there, I make sure I hold the fan. It's good for where you have weighing balance, let there be air condition there. Not a... Uh, why? Fan wheel. Yes, air condition doesn't do, mm, do and you're cool, you're not hot. No, 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 no. Good. Now, once you stand there, there are different kinds of weight balances. Once you get there, you on it. It comes on. And to give you what? Zero point. Zero. But nothing is on it. You now carry your weighing pan, or this nylon here, or my hair paper, weighing paper. Okay? You put it on that weighing balance. It will reflect that you have put something. There are some kind of weighing balance that it has a button that you press. Tap. It will not go back to zero, zero, zero. It will, it will erase the weight of this uh, paper or nylon. You now get your spatula and put a little, put a little. My son is just 10 years old, but from seven years, he entered Bowser's lab and he does all these things. You know, children, he does want to do everything. And by Monday, next coming Monday, young children from 7 to 12, they are coming to Bowse to learn all these things. We call that program, Catch Them. Yeah. Don't be surprised, a seven year old person is doing more than what somebody who is a graduate can do. Yeah, because they have the opportunity. All right, that's all way. So once you press this one, we call it TAP. T A R E. What do you call it? T A R E. Means you have zeroed the weight of that. Uh, Weighing something. So whatever you now put now is just the weight of what you are putting on it. But some machines don't have that part. So you are going to have to get a paper and write down the first uh, weight. You call it weight of the paper. Are you getting me? So when you now put something on this thing, you will minus the weight of the paper from the weight of both of them to give you the weight of what? Which one do you like out of those two machines? Tap. 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 So what we did with this in our lab, we did one that has tap. Say tap. 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 <laughs> so we have five grams here. So this five grams, uh, first thing is going to be the one to do this. I'll be doing the explanation. She wants to put that five grams into that monetary flask and, and, and dissolve it. The mark at this point here, is the mark where 100 mil stops. So what she does is 
she puts the powder through the phone. Why is she using the phone? Because if you want to, to do pe, 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 that thing. one or two grains will fall. So you start picking it and put on the uh, screw. Funnel that are useful. Though. So that's why that funnel is good. Most of us in our kitchen, you, you don't do a big funnel. You want to, and your hand is not even very steady. Alright? So she has poured that in. Look at what she's doing again. She's putting water inside that uh, nylon. Why is she doing that? She wants to rinse out the tiny stalks. Can you see the color? The color, because part of it is still there. If you do analysis without rinsing like that, you have lost some of your chemical in the in the nylon. She might do it up to two or three times till she's satisfied that uh, you put in that thing again. So science needs to be meticulous. You have to be in calculation. Don't do. No one has to do that. It's not sweet. They don't do For some other people, they will cut and twe twe twe. Even that thing should be faster because somebody's hungry. Now she has rinsed that one in. She wants to rinse the. Funnel also because part of it can and she's not pouring too she's not pouring too much water because some of us yeah you yeah you yeah the water will come over over mm-hmm. so she's okay with that aha now she wants to shake and make sure everything goes into what solution before she eventually and now that she's doing that she's covering that uh, lid some of us will, will be so careless you know you not hold it like that you just try and pour on people's head ah I see though. Because we don't want you to pour acid on anyone. Are you with me? Uh-huh. If she's satisfied that that thing has dissolved, or if it has not dissolved all, she'll still pour a little water. Because some, some things don't dissolve faster. Until enough water, so she'll put a little. If she's now okay that the thing has dissolved, our next and final step is to now bring the water to that, uh, to that uh, mark. And bringing the water to that mark, people used to have problems. So they will keep the funnel there and the point. Are you with me? So, and she's putting it at an eye level. Some of us, we don't want to put something on your head. You put it on the table and you point like that. Don't be lazy in the lab. You have to be intentional. You have, and you don't overshoot it. Once you are a lab person, it doesn't happen. It really happens to beginners. People are amateur. Are you getting me? Huh? So now that she has done this, she has prepared five percent solution of sodium, and this is the color of potassium dichromate. From today, if you are just passing that, you see someone having this uh, orange color. That's potassium dichromate. But some people don't even know the color of potassium dichromate. <laughs> now that concentration will confuse me. But as for sweetness, you know what I'm saying? Now you say what? Because I pour it from. If I pour it a little more than this, will it be put up with sweet? The same. I think I've learned something now. Yes. That no matter the amount you put, is the same what? Yes. Let me explain it two more. Is the same what? Yes. So what we tell like this is called stock solution. What do I call it? Stock, stock solution. The primary one that we get, most of the time we prepare like this, we don't prepare another one. We start to use this one to get whatever we need. Alright? So look at this one here now. Hmm? Yes. And we don't like wasting the science. So. If somebody needs five grams, don't say, let me, so you cook like that. Say, let me cook uh, five cups. In case somebody comes, mm, let me see what All right? So, we're still going to have blessing to help us, or, or let's ask uh, um, Judith to help us with this. We need her to take seven meals from here, or take ten meals. Ten meals and put here. Okay, they're telling you you should put at eye level. They're putting on the table, you will not see. <laughs> yes. Because ever due to palace, what? We enter. 10 minutes. If you go to mobile and they give you this thing, go to collect and do it. But before the seminar, if you look, say, all that mobile, everything is in can. Alright? So she has taken 10 meals. Are we together? Yes. Good. Now this one is just water. And she's going to add it to this one here. What do they call that one? Dilution. She has diluted. Okay. 
Another one. I thought you were going to give one. All right. Thank you very much. So, these two. Which one is sweeper? Why can't you sweep like this one? What's the constitution of this one? Again. Unknown government. Now, that takes us to what we call dilution. The first thing you learn by putting five gram, washing it into this place, making it up to that mark, you have prepared a percentage solution, which is five. Now, what you have done again now, you have taken five mil or ten mil from that original one here, and you are now taking water. Are you with me? Into this one, same amount of it, of water. Is it not the same amount? If it is me, I don't need to do any calculation. And I want to take it to that level too. That wants to take equal amounts of a stock, equal volume of a stock into something, and you can take water. Equal. Join. You have reduced that in from 5 to what? 2.5. Don't even don't do calculation. 2.5. How many volume do you have there now? 2.5. The size. But what's the volume? The volume, you know volume now. We put 10 in and put another. Taking what? Yes, I'll need you to know the kind of thing between volume and concentration. We use C for concentration. We use V for what? Volume. What's concentration? What is volume? Now that it's 2.5, Abante is too sweet for me. I want to be exactly half of that 2.5. What's half of 2.5? Divide 2.5 by 2. That's the you know, you half of 2.5. 1.25. How much of water will I put in here for it to turn to 1.25? You have to put for this thing to go to two, uh, half of that 2.5. You must put the same volume. 20. You want to put equal volume of something to an existing volume that it had before. It takes it to what? Now let's do. This. Let's Speaker 1 was 20 mil, right? Yes. That is what? Volume. Speaker 2 is what? Speaker 1 is still for concentration is what? Five. Is it not? Yes. Let me put that what? Yes. Let me keep that with a with the volume in my pocket. Let me just put the percent. Now this other one is water. Is it not? Yes. That water. If I have 20 mil, let me say the water contains 20 mil. That is its own volume. And what is the concentration of that water? X. What is the concentration of that water? Zero. Who buys sineke? It's not just water. That water. How much of potassium dichromate is in, in that water? X. No. So it's what? X. Thank you, dear. So this is zero percent. So look at how it is done. This volume times concentration for this first one plus this volume times concentration of this second one. Put them in bracket like this, so I don't make mistake. Now divide by volume of first one plus volume of so let's do that one now. So V of this one is twenty times what two point plus this one volume is what times what divided by twenty plus so what's the answer now? Twenty times two is what fifty. This one go to what? Zero. Abi? Yes. Divided by what? One. What's the answer? Have you seen why having 20 of this and 20 of that gives you what? If this is 1.25 now, what's the volume? What's the volume? What's the total volume? Is it not 40? If I want to take it from 1.25 to half of 1.25, what is half of 1.25? 0.625. How much volume will I put inside? 40. 40. <laughs> Those are 50. Put that same 40. You have reduced it to half of that common. Don't you guys know that in the kitchen, once you have this much and you put that same amount of water in there, you have reduced that into to half of the test. We do those things now. And if she's not too careful, if you remove it from the from the solution, eh, we what? You soon see how air will enter your own very soon. <laughs> eh? so, 
that's 10 mil. Now she's not putting water. She's putting this other one. What's the concentration of this one? 1.25. Is it not? She's taking 10 mils from here and putting into that one. So take 10 mils from here. This is your new something. You are taking 10 mils and put here. Sometimes we mix two things that have concentrations. This one is 5%. This one is 2%. We mix them together. Don't we do that? What is the new concentration? She took from the family of the stock, which is 5%. Abby. Now she's not taking from that one that we have done. She won't join them together to confuse you people. You have finished taking that thing. Remove your hand from the from so it doesn't drop. Once you have taken it and you relax your body, unless you are vibrating too much. So now I'd like to give 1,000 naira to someone that will tell me the concentration of this. 6.25. Anybody want to try it? Well, let's know that is correct. Let's go here. <laughs> what did we just do? Where is that my matter? Look at what we just did. We have two, we have two containers. The C of this one is what? 5%, is it not? And what, how much volume did you take from there? 10 mil, right? From the other one that is a 1.25, how much do we take? 10. Now, we are now going to our drawing board. C times V for the first one, plus C times V for the second one, divided by what? The V, the two Vs. Abby? I mean, so C of this one is 5. Times what? Okay. C of that one is 5 times 10. Then C of this one is 1.25 times what? Divided by what? By 20. By 20. Do we agree it's 20? Uh -huh. So 5 times 10 is what? 1.5 times 10 is what? Divided by what? So 50 times 50 plus 12.5 is what? Divided by what? Zero, we take this thing to this place. 2 year 1, 2 year 3, 0.12%. Now, let us now use our break from, from the stock. The first time we took 10 minutes from here and put into this place, Abby? Yes. Or which one do you put it? Mm. This Abby? Yes. We put 10 mil and put 10 mil of water. You took it from to 2.5. You now became 20 mil. You know, the, now we have the 20 mil. That equal amount we pour, it turned to 40 mil. Mm. 20 mil of water. You come and add it. It's bringing the taste what? Down. Uh -huh. Now that we are here now, you come and take small from this. I come and take from this and join. You are sitting that the taste will not be sweeter than this one. No. Can that happen? No. So, the taste will see what? In fact, once you have added water to anything you, you took from here, there is no way it's going to be sweeter than this one again. Can it be? No. Is there any way that uh, uh, you're going to see part small of this one to eat? You're going to see part this one from here? Once water don't enter something you got from here, it, there's nothing you can do unless you want to evaporate. Are you getting it? And you can only evaporate to, to you come back to this one. Or you come and further evaporate. But are you getting the point of it? Yes, let, let us now start that part. 